Compact Disc A compact disc or a CD is an optical storage medium with digital data recorded on it. The digital data can be in the form of audio, video or computer information. James Russell invented the compact disc in 1965. It is a thin circular disc of metal and plastic about 12 centimeters in diameter. It's actually made of three layers. Most of a CD is made from a tough, brittle plastic called polycarbonate. Sandwiched in the middle, there is a thin layer of aluminium. Finally, on top of the aluminium is a protective layer of lacquer. Polycarbonate disc layer has the data encoded by using bumps. A reflective layer reflects the laser back. A lacquer layer is used to prevent oxidation. Artwork is screen printed on the top of the disc. A laser beam reads the polycarbonate disc is reflected back and read by the player. Most of a CD consists of an injection molded piece of clear polycarbonate plastic. During manufacturing, this plastic is impressed with microscopic bumps arranged as a single continuous extremely long spiral track of data. We'll return to the bumps in a moment. Once the clear piece of a polycarbonate is formed, a thin reflective aluminium layer is puttered onto the disc covering the bumps. Then a thin acrylic layer is sprayed over the aluminium to protect it. The label is then printed onto the acrylic. A cross section of a complete CD looks like this. A CD has a single spiral track of data circling from the inside of the disc to the outside. You will often read about pits on a CD instead of bumps. They appear as pits on the aluminium side, but on the side, the laser reads from, they are bumps. The incredibly small dimensions of the bumps make the spiral track on a CD extremely long. If you could lift the data track off a CD and stretch it out into a straight line, it would be 0.5 microns wide and almost 3.5 miles long. The CD player has the job of finding and reading the data stored as bumps on the CD. Considering how small the bumps are, the CD player is an exceptionally precise piece of equipment. The drive consists of three fundamental components. A drive motor spins the disc. This drive motor is precisely controlled to rotate between 200 and 500 RPM depending on which track is being read. A laser and a lens system focus in on and read the bumps. A tracking mechanism moves the laser assembly so that the laser's beam can follow the spiral track. The tracking system has to be able to move the laser at micron resolutions. The fundamental job of the CD player is to focus the laser on the track of bumps. The laser beam passes through the polycarbonate layer, reflects off the aluminium layer and hits the optoelectronic device that detects changes in light. The bumps reflect light differently than the lens and the optoelectronic sensor detects that change in reflectivity. The electronics in the drive